So this emergency blanket just under me last night really did retain retain a lot of my body core temperature and um generally kept me kept me warm and to be honest it was probably the most useful thing that I could have bought especially for that weather so because all of my um belongings got wet yesterday I'm basically heating this in the fire and then just wrapping it in my clothes and um just drying it like that very uh very efficiently actually literally in the clouds it's really misty anyway cold wet awkward day but we're getting there we're getting there I'm not 100% certain, but possibly you can see the the three lakes there that are very picturesque, very uh, panoramic. Absolutely splendid! What a delight for the eyes after such a long, wet and windy, cold day. It's nice to finish with that, and I think I'm going to camp somewhere close by and wake up to that. Why not? I'm not sure if you can hear that 100% but just the sound of rain hitting the tarp, which um, is pretty comfortable considering I'm inside. And oh, well, it's a bit of a shame because I didn't have time to light a fire tonight. It's been a long, absorbing day, so oh, I'm just hoping I can keep a good body temperature. And I think I'm going to prepare some of the and things. It's been a long for another long day, but luckily, um, luckily the last few hours have been a lot less rain, so I feel a bit drier this evening, and I'm hoping to get a good night's sleep because that'd be nice. It means I can uh, look forward to getting somewhere a bit closer to like the jour um, tomorrow, which means I'll uh, be able to have a good guts and fishing and things like that. What an extraordinary view to wake up to. Simply amazing.
look at this, it's um, like some kind of scene from Jurassic Park. When the mountain offers up some delightful strawberry. there was a reason to have came. The lake just here. I mean, you can't really see it on the video, but it's just an absolute delight for the eyes. Stunning. Probably got another, another day or two until I'm home, so it's been a worthwhile trip. Glorious place to be. Really excited to, uh, to get in there and have a little bit of swim around now. Look at those. Ah, and it feels um it feels quite ripe. Ah, delicious. I mentioned before about turkey tails being really good to to pass an ember over so you can see I can clearly hold that in my hand and if uh, if I had a fire somewhere else or I wanted to to now walk find and set up a camp this would be a, a perfect thing just to enable me not to have to use any more material look at them flames majestic yeah, sometimes I just like looking at fire. I don't know why, but I just find it so appeasing. So aesthetic. So here we have a mushroom that uh, goes by the name of Pierre de Mouton in, in Switzerland, which is in French which basically translate to, uh, translates, sorry, to foot of a sheep.